What up, folk of dokes? Graphics Rogue here, and this time the tables are turned. We are playing some Rome 2 Online Battles. I have today brought Carthage, and my enemy has brought Rome. Unlike the last Carthage-Rome battle we had, I played Rome, and the other guy played Carthage. This is a different player, though, so it's not completely uh, switching roles. It's just a different player, but same, same factions. We're going to see how we can how we can turn the tables and win against Rome as Carthage. Hopefully that is my goal to win. As uh, it's, a, it's a laudable goal. I think everybody should have a goal to maybe possibly win. But uh, we'll see. I, I like that. The rolling hills and the lines. The infantry lines rolling up and down. Oh. Oh, that looks cool. You can see the enemy in the far distance. See the birds flying around. That is a nice scene. Fact. Yeah, I'll use that as a screenshot. That's pretty cool. Alright, so. We're gonna see what build I liked. I, uh, thought to bring. I brought two mercenary Numidians, a noble cavalry, a Carthaginian cav, and an African war elephant. I brought some. I brought a late Libyan hop. I brought a mercenary Scutari. I brought some mercenary, uh,. Another Carthaginian hop and a Carthag and a late Libyan hop. Two late Libyans, a Carthaginian hop, and a mercenary Scutari, and a bunch of Libyan infantry. Libyan infantry always makes up the main line of my Carthaginian builds. For the Roman, he brought about five legionary cohorts, three armored legionaries, three auxiliary infantry, one Syrian archer, one velite, a Praetorian, two auxiliary cav, and a legatus. We're going to see just. Uh, how how the Roman legions can stand up to the might of Carthage this day. And we're playing on the Bam Citadel map. That's pretty cool. I recently uh, looked up the Bam Citadel. It's a, it's a uh, like a historical site in Iran, or old day Persia back in the olden days, now Iran. And I think it was destroyed recently, like in the last couple of years by an earthquake. It was like, it was so preserved, and like an earthquake or something like that came and just destroyed the whole thing. And I think they're trying to rebuild it, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but that's sad, seeing ancient, ancient stuff like that just get destroyed. So let's, uh, go on with the battle, see what we're gonna pull, see what, see what movements we're gonna move, we're gonna move on. I am doing, again, a nice, kind of compact formation, just waiting to see what my enemy is doing. And then I'm going to move up my infantry units, I'm going to move up my main line. And, I'm, and I see what he's brought to the table, and I'm just going to send my Numidian Cav out to the far flanks over here to see if I can harass his cavalry, get as many kills on those Praetorians as I can. I'm going to keep my melee Cav in the back here for now, until a better time comes. But, I see my enemy is now swinging his cavalry to his other flank. And I see what he's doing, and he's going to try to maybe escape my Numidians, so I'm going to try to pull them back, and I'm going to try to swing them right back around, because I want to get my Numidians into that nice tasty flesh of that Legatus or that Praetorian. That's going to be my, uh, that's going to be my goal for my Numidians. Over here, we are moving up the main line slowly but surely. I've got three Cretian archers, but he's only got one Syrian and one Velite. He's going to move his guys up. I think I had my guys on heavy shot, so... I kept having him move them forward and forward because heavy shot is really shitty aim. But he's moving ahead his velites and his auxiliaries and we're just gonna focus fu we're gonna focus fire on both those units and just take them out as quick as we can. Right here I think we're gonna start firing on that velite. Boom. And they don't like that at all. They don't like- they're running. They don't like that. They don't like that at all. He's pulling them back because he knows now it was not a very good idea to have them so close to the enemy like that. And he's gonna put his, uh, his armed legionaries in Testuda formation, which is a good idea if I was attacking his infantry. And now I'm definitely not gonna attack his infantry with my missile units because you're just wasting ammo. So I'm firing my ammunition at his Syrian archers and he sees that and he's gonna try to pull him back I'm not gonna waste any ammo on a unit in Testuda formation Testuda formation in this game when you're playing it online it's almost useless because a good online player knows not to waste his ammo on Testuda formation units 
And so my, uh, I'm just going to let my archers do their work on the missile units for now. I'm going to swing my Numidian Cav to the flank, see if I can uh, meld as many of the enemy as I can. Over here, I'm going to start swinging my melee Cav and just intercept his melee Cav and try to stop them. And I'm going to pull in some of my Carthaginian hops and late Libyan hops to try to back up my cavalry units, try to knock them out as best I can. But over here, we're going to start... We're gonna start finally coming into contact with the enemy. He's charging me with his auxiliary infantry instead of his uh, regular infantry. So I put my guys in shield wall or shield screen or whatever that is. Shield wall, yeah, cause shield wall against spears does pretty well, what I am told. It, uh, it raises the defense and it just, it'll deal with spears pretty good. Spear units will not, will not like uh, being hit with a spear wall. Over here, he tried to catch. He tried to run away from my cavalry. My cavalry caught him. These auxiliary cavalry are not going to last long against this Carthaginian cav and this noble cav. Over here, we got. He's uh, trying to come around and smash the backs of my cav with his Legatus and his Praetorian, but we have melted his Legatus away. His general might be dead. And if it's not dead now, it'll de be dead soon because. My, my Numidian Cav is going to come up and going to rain hellfire on this general and Praetorian. Over here he tried to smash in with his elephants, but they're just, they're smashing more of their own guys than me. And I may have got, did I get them in a uh, berserk mode? No, not yet. If I did, they got out of berserk mode. They're just not, they're not doing a lot of good like this. They need to smash into the enemy unit or swing around like this. They should have waited for a position like this where they smacked the enemy unit or they swung around. Over here, he is just, he's tr struggling to try to get a good position. Over here, I think I was laying down some whistling shot to try to make them route faster. Can't quite remember. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was laying down some whistling shot. Uh, it's about this point, though, my enemy decided to quit the battle. He had a few units left. They weren't, they weren't routed yet. I think that's unfortunate. I really hate it when the enemy, when my enemy likes to uh, quit the battle without finishing it. I hate that, but I was going to win that battle anyway, so as the way the cookie crumbles, my elephants got 300, 300, uh, it was my elephants. I thought it was his elephants. So yeah, those elephants were used great, actually, never mind. Yeah, we swung around, my elephant smashed the back of his units, and that's how they routed so quick, we just, we destroyed them. Yeah, they were my elephants, they weren't his, I thought they were his, his elephants, so... That's pretty dumb of me. But yeah, we destroyed the enemy army. We just... We saw what they had. We countered it. We uh, tried to destroy his cavalry or keep them distracted as long as we could. While our superior superior infantry uh, dealt with his infantry line. Well, he has superior infantry. The legionary coast and the arm armored legionaries are better than any infantry I brought. But... Uh, the way he was using them, it wasn't great. And the way I used my units, I think it was pretty great. That was a fine battle from a fine opponent. I am your Graphics Rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.